Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. Now we are going to look at wells. The wells are a source of groundwater. The groundwater source and is widely used in India. And there are two types of wells. It is, it may be shallow or it may be deep. So what is the difference of the shallow and deep? Let's look at shallow first. So under shallow, they are, they tap subsoil water. So shallow, it taps. They tap the subsoil water, tap subsoil water. That is the water above the first impervious layer in the ground. That is water from above the first impervious the first impervious layer and this is in the ground next we will look at the chemical quality the chemical quality of shallow water it is moderately hard it is moderately hard then comes the contamination. The contamination of shallow wells, it is very often grossly contaminated. It is often, it is grossly contaminated as well as it can be liable to the pollution. What is the yield? The yield is generally it is dry, dry in case of the summer. So what about the prevalence in India? The prevalence is very common. Next, on the other hand, we are going to see the deep wells. The deep wells, they are, they are tap water from water bearing. They are the tap water from water bearing straight up. Water bearing stratum and it is below the first impervious impervious layer of the ground it is below first impervious layer of the ground layer of the ground next we will look at the chemical quality The chemical quality in phase of deep wells, it is a very hard water. And looking at the contamination, it is a low contaminated levels. So it is low contamination levels and it is purer and it is purer compared to that of the shallow wells, greater than the shallow wells. So how is the yield? The yield, if you see, it provides constant water supply is constant water supply and looking at the prevalence in India the prevalence in India will be it is less than the shallow wells is less than shallow wells next let's look at the artesian well The artesian well is a type of deep well in which the water rises to the surface. So it's a deep well and water it rises to the surface. And this is due to the pressure with which it is held between the two impaired. Imp so it is because of the pressure. So where does the pressure develop? It is between the two impervious. It is due to the pressure between the two impervious or the impermeable. Imp permeable layers so there is no pump or other manual methods needed to bring the water to the surface so there are no pump or in no other manual methods which are required to bring the water to the surface they are not common in india so it is rare and the wells can be classified according to the method of construction as dug wells or tube wells so based on the construction it is 
it can also be classified the wells can be classified as dug wells or the tube wells so now let's look at the dug wells and tube wells in detail so we start with the dug wells so the dug wells are most common type of wells in india so they are most common in case of india and what about the rural india in rural india so there is rural india so in terms of rural india there are two types of dugs well exist and namely they are uninclined kacha wells they are uninclined kacha wells and they are also the masonry or pakka wells they are masonry as well as there are pakka wells so the kacha wells they are just big hole dug in the sand so kacha wells they are big holes and they are dug into sand they are dug into the sand next is the pakka wells the pakka wells are built with walls or linings made up of bricks and stones the walls well built with walls or linings and they are made up of bricks or stones they are made up of bricks or stones next comes the step wells the step wells they are type of the pakka dug wells they are type of the pakka dug wells and they have steps they have presence of steps and these steps can be used by people to descend into the well and come out in contact with the water so they can descend as well as they can come in contact with water so the increase in the risk of water contamination so this increases the risk of water contamination next is the tubers next comes the tubers the tubers are a shallow tubers are also called driven wells so the shallow tubers they are also known as the the shallow tubers are also known as a driven wells they are known as the driven wells so they are safer source of water compared to other wells they are safer compared to the other wells and they are cheaper as well as easy to maintain they are cheap and easy to maintain next is we look at tube wells use of strainers the tube wells the tube wells which use the strainers at the bottom which use strainers and this is present at the bottom and the hand pumps at the top and then there are hand pumps they are present at the top and they are attached by a pipe in between so there is a pipe which is attached in between so let's look at some consideration to build a safe and sanitary well so how do you build this so first is we look at the location the location must be 15 meters away and this is from the source of contamination from source of the contamination and it must not be greater than 100 meters from households it should not be greater than 100 meters from household the lining 
it must be made up of brick or stones so it is made up of brick or stones and they are set in the cement to a depth of 6 meters so there is 6 meters so that the water enters from the bottom and from not from the sides so if you see the water it enters from the bottom so it enters from the bottom and not from the sides so the height of the lining above the ground level must be so the height from the ground level it must be 60 to 90 centimeters next is the a parapet wall this must be at least 70 to 75 meters centimeters 70 to 75 centimeters and that is nothing but the 28 inches and this is from ground level this is from ground level then comes the platform so this should stretch at least 1 meet 1 m 1 meter above it must be at least 1 meter around well in all directions then comes the drain so the drain it should be a pakka drain to carry out spilled water so it should be a pakka drain so the pakka drain is to carry the spilled water to carries spilled water and the spilt water is uh, carried to the public drain and beyond the cone of filtration of the well and this is beyond cone of filtration of the well next we look at the covering So covering is that there should be a cement concrete covering over the well. Cement concrete covering. So there is cement concrete covering and this is present over the well. And looking at hand pump, this should be able to withstand rough handling. So it should handle rough handling it should be suitable for the rough handling then we look at the consumer responsibility consumer responsibility so this the consumer must practice the basic precautions before handling the web so some precautions should be maintained before handling the web and then let's look at the quality the quality is that the water standards in terms of quality must be confirmed too. So we have to look at the water standards. 